Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore, and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And uh, today we're going to take a look at David Besson's previous album. It is not his newest one, but his previous one that came out in 2016. It's called Blanco. So that's coming up. So for you guys who don't know David Besson, he is a singer songwriter from Seattle, US. He is 41 years old and he creates indie rock, uh, or at least he used to create a lot of indie rock. Nowadays, he's creating more electronic inspired uh, folk music. Um, it has some pop inspirations as well. It's really interesting actually. If you haven't watched my previous review of his newest album, Care, you should uh, go and check it out, it's up here. Anyways, let's just jump right into this album right here. It's called Blanco. With this album, I'm thinking of just ranting a little bit about the whole album in general. Uh, there really weren't any songs that were sticking out to me. There were a few that I liked a little bit more than others. But yeah, I'm just gonna rant a little bit about this album, okay? The first track, Both Hands, is actually on the top of one of his most liked songs as a solo artist. One of these songs that he created that is most popular at least, but I don't know, I really didn't feel like this was a song that catered to my ears. Personally, I love the third track, which is called Cap Secrets. This one to me is, is just a lot better, I don't know why. Maybe the reason why I like it is because it has this gentle mix of live instruments and electronic components. I really came to love that. It is a very wistful and very enjoyable song. It has this very enjoyable uh, and calm cadence to it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely definitely one of the songs that kind of that I kind of liked a little bit more compared to the rest. With You is the fourth track of the album, and to be honest, I really didn't like this one. It when I listen to it, it feels like the vocals are lying in the background while they actually should be more prominent. They should be in front because, I don't know, the, Basson's vocals are just insanely good. His vocals should be leading the way. If you listen to the start of the song, it really sounds like it is building up to this very prominent and clear and, and leading melody. But this expectation is just ruined because the rest of the song is very vague. It doesn't have this prominent standing out melody at all. So yeah, I, I feel like this song had a lot of potential because I liked the melody during the introduction and it could have led with that melody and it could have unfolded in a much more enticing and I don't know, a rich a richer way. That is the way I want to put it, but you know, it didn't. The fifth track, uh, Trouble With Boys, is a slow burner. What I mean by this is that the tempo is very slow, also the mood is um, quite mellow, it is negative, but it also have, has this positive tendencies here and there. And it's actually the same with the lyrics. The lyrics are ebbing from something uh, that is leaning towards discouragement and then at other points in the song the lyrics are leaning towards something inspirational so it's like yeah it's this beautiful mix between something positive and negative it's like a a uh, I don't know I, I really don't know I don't have anything to compare it to but yeah I really like this song trouble with boys um, so I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10 now before I jump over to the next track that I want to talk about I want to say that during this first full half of the album, I see that there's a lot of versatility in terms of the mood, uh, in terms of the sonic soundscape. And you know, there's nothing wrong about versatility as long as the album is cohesive, as long as there are some elements of the songs that are related to each other so that the overarching album feels good. <laughs> so that the album in general feel, feels like one piece that is interconnected with each other. But that is the problem. It's on the border of being so versatile in terms of the textures, the, the sound, the mood, that it just, yeah, it becomes a bit incohesive at this point. The sixth track, Teardrops. I wanted to talk about this song, but God damn it, I really don't feel like it at all. This is not something I want to talk about. I'm treating this video as I would actually treat the song. I'm just gonna push that freaking skip button because it's... Ugh. Seventh track, Little Landslide, starts with this acoustic guitar. Then we hear Bassan's vocals singing in a very moody and wistful way 
on top of this guitar and uh, gradually as the song unfolds we also hear this percussion this egg maracas i think that is what you call it also comes in adding a little bit more to the instrumental image picture then when the chorus comes in there's also this synth that is taking place as the song progresses forward as it continues to unfold the um, instrumental image is just created and it becomes fuller and richer there's these electronic elements coming in as well and uh, after a while it disappears and then it comes in again it, it creates this very uh, what do you call it this um, this pitfall and then it kind of climbs up and builds up again and it has this very nice uh, dynamic um, how can I how can I put it it has a nice dynamic feel to it that is what I'm trying to say I also really really appreciated the fact that Bassan blended these live elements with electronic elements that is what I love and that is what I think that he should do more of he actually did a lot of that on his uh, newest album I think or at least that felt a lot more cohesive and it felt like he had an idea for that album um, but yeah this one track number seven little landslide I really like this song I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten so yeah that those were basically some of the tracks that I liked the most some of the tracks that I hated the most <laughs> and uh you know i'm not gonna go too deep into more of the songs here i'm just gonna let the album speak for itself to be honest the first impression and the lasting impression that i have now of the album is a six out of ten i didn't really feel like it was standing out that much i think i gave Bassan's uh, newest album, Care, I think I gave it an 8 out of 10 and that deserves it so absolutely because it is so much more cohesive. Um, you know, that album, it has less elements to it, it is less versatile, but it is crafted in such an amazing way in terms of the mood and the instruments and ugh, the lyrics as well. There are some really deep lyrics here there is some really nice experimentation here on Blanco of live instruments and electronic components. I really like it, but it is not as cohesive. I'm sorry, that is how it is. On Care, his newest album, it just felt a lot more mature. He had a plan for what he wanted to do, and uh, yeah, it's just a better album, okay? So this one, um, Blanco. It gets a 6 out of 10 for me. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you like to share, explore, and learn about rock music just as much as I do, then please share this video if you want to. And also subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below. Also, let me know what you guys think about this album down in the comments below. What would you give it? Like, would you give it a 6 out of 10? 10 out of 10, 4 out of 10, let me know in the comments, all right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you later. Bye. Come on, mistakes there.